Right, so let's continue looking at our function of f of x equal to x squared minus 1. And what we wanted to look at was what would happen if I put 10 in. So we got an answer of 99 by saying 10 squared is 100 take away 1. But how do we write that? So in order to write this kind of correctly or the best way or the whatever way you want to call it, we're just going to replace the x with the number 10. And if we do it here, we have to do it here as well. So we're going to replace this x also with the number 10. Not, let's not forget our minus 1, so it's 10 squared minus 1. That becomes 100 minus 1, which is 99. Now, we don't change anything on the left, because that is saying, what is the function when you input 10? Now, you'll notice here I put a bracket on it. Reason for that, let's uh, have a look at what happens if I put f of minus 1 in. And if I put it in, I get minus 1 squared minus 1. And if you put this in your calculator, as it is written now, you're going to get minus 1, minus 1. You should get an answer of minus 2. But actually, we need to remember that it's minus 1 squared. That means minus 1 by minus 1, which is plus 1. 1 take away 1 is 0. So it's very important that we put it in a bracket as shown. Um, have a go at the following. What would f of minus 3 be? Okay, and if you did it correctly, you should have minus 3 in a bracket. This becomes 9 minus 1. It becomes 8. So f of minus 3 is 8. And that basically means the function, when you input minus 3, what answer do you get? You get 8. Let's try another one. Let's try g of x equal to uh, 7x plus 2. So, what would g of 2 be? It would be 7 times 2 plus 2, 14 plus 2, 16. So g of 2 is 16. What would a g of minus 3 be? 7 times minus 3, let's not forget our bracket, minus 21, minus 19. Let's try another one and make it hard. Let's say h of x is 3x squared minus 2x plus uh, 4. So let's make it a hard one, okay? I'd like you to try what would be h of minus 4. So, I'm going to take my time this time. It would be 3 times minus 4, get the minus 4 from there, squared, minus 2 times minus 4, and then don't forget to add on the 4 here that's written, plus 4. So, we'll take our time. 3 by minus 4 by minus 4 is positive 16. Minus 2 by minus 2, that gives a plus, and 2 by 4 is 8. Plus 4. 3 by 16 is 6, 12, 18 plus 30, so it's 48. Plus 8 and 4 is 12, getting a lovely answer of 60. So when I input minus 4 into this particular function, I get 60.